<laughs> Question number two, Dr Shane Retty. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the uh, Minister of Health, what are his priorities in the health portfolio? Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. On behalf Julianne of the Minister Jennifer. of Health, better health for New Zealanders. To the Minister, is it a priority for the Minister to honour his pre-election pledge of a $20 million fund for rare diseases? Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. In fact, there was no amount specified in a pledge, but it is extremely important to me that we do have funds for rare diseases, and that's why I'm quite pleased to say that Pharmac has announced they will be continuing the $5 million fund for rare diseases next year. Mr Speaker. Why is Colette Bromhead, the CEO of New Zealand ORD, the New Zealand Organisation for Rare Diseases, saying that she was promised there would be a new $20 million fund, and now government MPs have told her that it is, quote, off the table, unquote? Um, thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I'm not sure why she's saying that, because there was no specified amount in the Labour Party manifesto. There was a commitment. And I've made it very clear that this is an issue that is incredibly important to me, and I'm pleased that Pharmac will be continuing to fund rare diseases, and I've already asked both Pharmac and the Ministry of Health for advice on how we can continue to support those with rare diseases. Why did the Minister write to the New Zealand Pompeii Disease Network around Labour's policy of establishing a rare disease fund when the government is now saying the fund is, quote, off the table, unquote? Thank you, Mr order, Speaker. Order. Um, the member has now, I think, at least three times made an allegation um, that he's based a fact on. Um, normally, when ma one makes some allegation, one needs to provide authentication. And, and I am seeking authentication from the... When you want to speak, should yes. I rephrase the question with the authentication? I, I think it would be, be a good idea, because I did happen to listen to the radio programme which the member might be relying on Correct. yesterday. Thank you. Why did the Minister write to the New Zealand Pompeii Disease Network around Labor's policy of establishing a rare disease fund when, in an interview yesterday with Radio New Zealand, say again, when the uh, Radio New Zealand interview yesterday reports two MPs saying the fund is, quote, off the table, unquote? Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, in the Disability Issues New Zealand La Labour Party Manifesto, there is a commitment to a specific fund for medicines to treat rare diseases. Um, I am happy to say that Pharmac is continuing with the trial specific fund for rare diseases this year, and that I've asked advice to the Ministry of Health and to Pharmac on how we can continue to support funding medicines for those with rare diseases. To the Minister. How could it be that the Minister told Radio New Zealand yesterday that, quote, I wasn't aware, unquote, of a vital funding cut to NZ Ord when CEO Colette Bromhead says he does know that our funding is at threat because we sent repeated letters to his office and I have spoken to his private secretary? Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm afraid that information is incorrect. Uh, the Ministry has made no decisions on what is happening with funding for the New Zealand Organisation for Rare Diseases. It's being considered along with all other things that are considered for funding in the budget process for next year. Uh, to the Minister. To the Minister. Is he confirming then that he has not received repeated letters to his office and his private secretary has not been spoken to by CEO Colette Bromhead? Um, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm afraid that I can't confirm that one way or another, but if he puts the question in writing, we might be able to answer it. Question number three, Jan Logie. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Angie Warren Clark. I've... Thank you, sir. Uh, does the Minister agree with former Chairman of the three Auckland DHBs, Lester Levy, when, told, when he told the Health Select Committee yesterday that the system in Auckland is under stress? Order. That no, the member will resume her seat. That, that does not flow from either the primary question or the supplementaries. Question number three, Jan Logie. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Associate...